Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. As today, we're going to be doing a fountain animation in Blender. I uh, hope you like it. Let's get into it. And if you don't have Blender, I'll put the link to download it in the description below. Alright, so go ahead and open up a uh, general file. And you see the student fault cube here in SY, scale around the Y axis, scroll out. Uh, S, scale that, and then SY again, make it a little bit shorter. Got this nice little contained or here, uh, GZ, bring up as much as you can, to like on the floor. Right there seems about good, and go to the physics tab, and add fluid. Uh, change the type to domain, and domain type to liquid. Then go to the object settings, and viewport display, display as wire. Alright, go back to the physics settings, resolution divisions can, you can change to 100. And uh, go scroll down, check mesh, go into the mesh settings, uppers factor to 4, and the particle radius to 1. And the end frames down here where it says end, change that to 200. And on the timeline where it says end, change that to 200. And a short little animation. And then you can shift A, mesh, add a UV sphere, scale it uh, however you'd like. I think that looks about good. GZ, bring it up. Scale a little bit more. Scale and position it however you'd like. Uh, add fluid to it. Change the type to flow. And the flow type to liquid. Flow behavior, you can change to inflow. Sampling steps, sub steps, you can change to three. Check initial velocity. And on where it says Z, change that to 0.5. That'll make it uh, go upwards. So with that, you can uh, click on the domain, and you right here where it says bake data, you click that, and that will start baking. It will only take a few minutes, uh, and I'll be back when that bakes. At this point, the bake should be complete, so uh, let's go ahead and play this through. Alright, so we got this water animation here, it's a fountain animation, and it looks pretty good. So, go ahead and scroll down. Uh, where it says bake mesh, go ahead and click that. And that'll take uh, quite a bit of time, so uh, just wait for that. On my computer, it took like an hour, so I'll be back when that bakes. Okay, well, now that that has baked, let's like kind of scroll through our animation. Looks good. Okay, now object and then shade smooth. And now in the render settings, change render engine to cycles. Uh, make sure it's, uh, if you don't have a GPU, leave it on CPU, but if you do, put it onto GPU. And um, after that, go to rendered view. And um, just kind of hide the overlay. It'll kind of look like milk a little bit, I guess. You can bring back the overlay. Um, then on the materials tab, add new material and make the surface glass and the IOR to 1.33 and then um, the color, you can change it to whatever you want for the sake of this tutorial we're going to just change it to blue and you can kind of preview it if you want it's kind of what the water will look like uh, and that looks good. So next we're gonna make our tube. So go back into solid view. And this is gonna be the tube where the water kinda looks like it's spouting out of. So shift A mesh, add a cylinder. S shift Z, scale it everywhere but the Z axis. And S Z, scale it up. G Z, make sure it goes over the, the sphere. Just like that. And then shift D, Y, that duplicates on the Y axis. Now S on the duplicate, and then shift Z, make it a little bit skinnier. Now go to top view, and G, Y, bring it into the center of our tube. So S, shift Z again, and that looks good. So now G, Z, bring it up a little bit. And with the outer shell, uh, go to the modifiers tab, add modifier, add the boolean modifier. Select the eyedropper tool and select the middle. 
hit apply. Now the middle one, you can just G grab, take it out, X delete it, and we have our little tube here. Now select the tube, go to the materials tab, add a new material, and the surface you can change to glossy. The color right here, you can change to image texture, and select open, and locate where you can down where you save the um, stone texture to. So I'm just gonna try to find a stone texture here. There it is. Open image. And that is open. You can select preview and change our roughness down a little bit. So it's just like that. It's so like 0.475. Go into rendered view. And we kind of have a, our stone uh, tube right here. So that looks good. Kind of play your animation through. And it looks like it is coming out of that tube. So with that, go to the world settings over here, click uh, color, and make it all the way white. So you go into rendered view, the world settings are indeed white, you hide the overlay, that looks good. Uh, and with that, now we're going to add a plane, so back into a uh, solid view, and at the bottom of our water right here, so go to bottom view, uh, select the 3D cursor and make sure that is in the middle at the bottom. Now select uh, side view and still 3D cursor, one of you selected, select the bottom right there and now go to bottom view again and select the bottom of this. So, with that, uh, Shift A Mesh, add a plane, S, scale it out, you gotta scale it out big, don't be afraid of big, it needs to be big, like really big, like that. Alright, and with that, uh, you can go ahead and make the camera view. So, now, Oh, I don't know what just happened. All right, there. All right, so go into camera view and N for navigation, and go to view, lock camera to view. Now, find where you might want your camera. So hide the overlay and just you know find where you want your camera. So about right there looks good. Uh, go back to the overlay. So select your camera. Oh, whoops. Move the 3D cursor. Uh, go back to this right here. Select your camera. And uh, move the camera settings. N to 1000. Or however much. And then uh, that's good. So now you can officially hide the overlay. And take away that navigation menu. And then go to edit preferences and then temporary windows render in image editor okay can you go ahead and ex exit out of there now in the output settings change file format to avi jpeg quality 100 percent and then the file you save it wherever you want water and go to the file button right here and then save wherever you want on your computer just accept that's where the rendered version is gonna save to. So uh, now all you have to do is hit that render button. Actually, first file, uh, save, save as wherever you want, and save render file. All right, Re render, and then hit render animation. And this is gonna take a whole day to render because we've shortened it down to 200 frames. So, a whole day of rendering, uh, so a whole 24 hours, and you should be good. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.